Hello everybody, Michael here. Today I wanted to talk about how to find a company's financial statements. Go ahead and by the way, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. All right, so you're gonna wanna go on to google.com and from here you're gonna wanna type in the name Edgar, E-D-G-A-R. From here you're gonna see a link that's sec.gov slash edgar.shtml. That's the one you're gonna wanna click on and on the left hand side you're going to see company filings search that's what we're looking for so you're going to go ahead and click on that from here you're given two options you're given a company name option or a fast search option the fast search is better and i'm going to show you why right now so today apple released their quarterly report and i want to read it so i'm going to go ahead and type into here apple and you know, just for the sake of this example, I also want to see their um, annual report to just compare some of the data. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of things that are not what I'm looking for. Um, there's all kinds of companies with the name Apple in it. And so this search is just returning every company with a name um, that has the word Apple in it, which is not what we're looking for. What you're gonna to want to do is go to your fast search and type in the ticker. So in this example, AAPL, going to click search and here are the financial um, filings for the company that you were looking for. The most important ones for me are going to be your quarterly and annual reports. So the 10Q is the quarterly report and then the 10K is the annual report. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on documents for the 10Q and you'll see there's a whole bunch of documents. The main important one is going to be this 10Q right here. It's the first one. Go ahead and click the link to that document and that will bring you to Apple's uh, quarterly report. And just real quickly, I just wanted to share one more thing. It'll have um, things like statements of operations, statement of comprehensive income, balance sheet, uh, statement of cash flows, things like that. And so um, you'll be able to compare data. So for example, the first three months of 2019, Apple had total comprehensive in income of 13.65 billion. Whereas the first three months of 2018, Apple had uh, total comprehensive income of 11.877 billion. So that's gonna be almost a $2 billion increase. That's that's really great. Additionally, you can actually click on all of these and it's gonna have all kinds of data. Um, and also if you don't know what something is, so you don't know what total comprehensive income is, there's also a nice little, little definition here that will tell you all about it. So definitely use this if you have questions. Um, in addition, if you have any questions, Post them in the comments below. I read all of them, and if you have a question, I promise I will respond. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you'd like to see anything else, definitely please let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.